Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to open the Divi blog module links in a new tab. So when you go to the page, like your main blog page, for example, where you have the blog module and you click by default, it opens in the same page. But with this tutorial, those links will actually open in a new tab. Let's take a look. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the link in the description so you can get the snippet of code that we're going to be using. Now, the reason we would do this, you know, if you have a main blog page and a visitor is on your site, and let's say they go to a blog post, they click and they, they're out, now they're on the individual blog post. Well, they may get sidetracked or they may do this or that, and um, you want them to obviously stay on the site longer, maybe have some kind of conversion, but that may not happen because, well, now they're, now they're on this page and not back on that page. So by having the main page there also, and then the blog post opens in a new tab, then they can just go right back in the other tab and click on something else. This is another one of those um, requests that we get. We get a lot of requests for tutorials and just a reminder, you can send any request in and we'll take a look at it. But I thought this was a good one. So it's really simple, really, really simple. We're gonna add a CSS class to the blog module. Um, that's step number one, really that simple. Because you may not want this on every single blog module on your site. You may have a blog module below your blog post, like related posts. You may not want it on that one, you know, because then you would actually go to the main or to your, to another page from that blog post. So that would make more sense. But from the main blog, it would make sense to open in a new tab. So I'm just saying that to to point out that you don't need to target all the blog modules on your site. That's why we're adding a class. So we'll go ahead and copy this PA blog new tab. That's the class we're using. I'm going to copy that. Now over here I have a demo site with a blog module. Open up the settings, go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, open that up. Right here where it says CSS class, paste that in or write PA blog new tab. There you go. We've added the class. That's step number one. Step number two is adding the code and it's a two step process. So you know, we're adding the code that's now going to look for that uh, class. And there's three links in the blog. There's the image, there's the title, and then there's the read more button. All three of them are, are the same by default where they open in the same tab, but we're adding underscore blank as the target. And that's going to then, that's the, that's the technical Thing that needs to happen if you know what I'm saying okay it's the technical code that's saying new tab <laughs> all right copy the code here you can click the copy button now if you're using a child theme you may have like a, a JavaScript file and you would paste it in there um, you would want to remove the script tags if you are not using a child theme for your JavaScript just go over to theme options let me show you that go in the back end of your site go to Divi theme options and then over here in the integration tab, you may or may not have other code in here. In this add code to the head of your blog section, go to the bottom, paste your code there. There you go. And again, it's targeting that same thing, PA blog new tab, and then it's targeting the article and then the link. So it's saying, hey, any links that are within the article that are within the PA blog new tab class, add, target underscore blank. That's what it's doing. It's just saying, hey, if I find a link here, this is what it's gonna have for the target. All right, so we're done. Now I'm gonna exit the page where I have the blog module and I'll just click on some links and show you. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna click on this image, opens in a new tab. I'll click on the title, opens in a new tab. And the read more, opens in a new tab. All right. It works, it's that simple, it's that easy. We know, step one, step two, it's just a little bit of code. And as a reminder, we do tutorials like this every single week. Um, so make sure you're subscribed, especially on YouTube and on the blog. What we do is we send out a monthly newsletter. It's like a roundup. 
So at the beginning of every month, we send out a newsletter with links to the four or five blog posts from every Tuesday of the month linked in that. So we don't send an email for every every week. I don't know. Maybe maybe I should do that, but we don't. We send it once a month. That's what you'll get. You sign up for that. You'll get any uh, any other like news and announcements things. We have them on YouTube as well, like a new product or an update to a product, anything like that. All right. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoy. And if you do, why not subscribe? Leave a comment. That helps me out with the algorithm and thumbs up and all that. All right. We'll see you in the next video.